The grieving parents of a nine-year-old Queensland schoolboy are demanding answers after their son died less than a day after being discharged from hospital. From all, we're joined by Chris O'Keefe in Brisbane. And Chris, such a tragic chain of events. Can you take us through what's happened? It's a horrible story, Brett. Nine-year-old Hunter Ma was admitted to the Marta Children's Hospital in Brisbane late last week. He was having breathing difficulties. His parents say he was having coughing fits that were lasting up to two and a half hours. Now, he stayed in hospital for three nights. On the fourth day, doctors say that he was OK to be discharged. Now, his parents begged doctors, begged the paediatricians to keep him in there because they knew in their heart of hearts that something was still not right. Now, despite all this, he was discharged here to his home at Ormo, which is on the Gold Coast. Now, it was only a matter of hours after he was discharged that his father said he walked into his room while Hunter was trying to sleep and saw his lips turn blue and this look of pain on his face as he was struggling to breathe. He then became unconscious and his father had to perform CPR on his nine-year-old son. Now, they called the ambulance. The ambulance took 20 minutes to arrive, but when they did arrive, they also tried to work on Hunter, but unfortunately he was pronounced deceased. Now, his family are absolutely distraught. They're emotionally drained by this entire experience. They say they are fighting to get some justice for Hunter and they just cannot understand what has gone wrong. Take a listen. Got in the room, he was limp on the bed. <laughs> I picked him up and I put him on the floor and I put him in the recovery position and all this fluid came out of his mouth. If there's one thing you could say to the doctors, one thing you could say to the hospital themselves, what, what would it be? What, what message do you want to get out of? Be brave enough, be honest enough to have somebody else come in and look at it independently. And Chris, what's the hospital had to say about all this? Well, not much, Brett. They did release a written statement saying they are launching an internal investigation into the circumstances surrounding Hunter's death. However, they did not say uh, or answer any specific questions on to what exactly happened. Now, officially, the family have been told that Hunter died as a result of an asthma attack. However, they insist he was not an asthmatic and definitely did not need Ventolin in his everyday life. So, at the moment, they are just hoping and praying that something good will come out of this. They don't want an internal investigation. They want an independent investigation to see exactly what happened happened to their son. Certainly a very sad story. Chris O'Keefe in Brisbane, thank you.